Hi guys, Rick Shaw and Hi guys, little Miss Rick, Rick Shaw. Say howdy. Hello. <laughs> and there's little Mr. Shaw. Ha, <laughs> monkey. All right, well I did a video just a little bit earlier I'm gonna to post tonight. Thank you, Maddie. And I was gonna, uh, I answered some of his questions. And there was another fellow on here. Uh, I put the email on for the reply so he could, I could do it there because it's easier to type on a keyboard than try to type out a long drawn thing on the phone. So I got it right here and he, he wanted to know a little bit about me, where I come from, blah, blah, blah. And it says, what brought me to the Philippines? Well, uh, I, wanted a, I wanted a family. A wife and wanted some more kids. My, my first kids, when uh, divorce happened, uh, for some reason, we just got separated. Uh, we weren't allowed to be together. Uh, it was just a disaster, and the children suffered for it. So I wanted to raise the kids here and in the United States. You know, you guys know the horror stories about they'll give you a big uh, deal about giving your kid an aspirin, but yet they give the boys rubbers and they'll take the girls for an abortion and all this stuff. Give them Ritalin. I, I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to, do, I'm going to raise these kids here. They're born here. Uh, they're beautiful. And I'm going to raise them in the Philippines. I have no desire to move. Uh, it says, what are my likes and dislikes? Uh, I love being here. I love being a family man. Uh, my dislike is, uh, in the Philippines, it's a different culture. If a little kid falls down, what do they do? They run over and they help him up. Oh, you poor baby. I don't like that. My kids fall down. Get up off your ass. Get going. You got a scraped up knee? Too bad. Get up. That's my, that's my deal. That's how I am. The other thing I don't like is when they go somewhere, they shovel, shovel them full of cakes and pies and garbage. I can't, I just can't let them go outside. They come home, they won't touch dinner because they're stuffed full of candy. Uh, that's one of my dislikes. Another one. This is where did I come from the U.S. I'm a Midwesterner uh, from Northern Ohio. Uh, and he says, do, "Do you plan on living there for the long haul?" Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm here till uh, till I'm no more. And uh, I've always wanted to come here. I came here when I was very young. Uh, U.S. Navy. And uh, I tell you what, I, I can't see myself being anywhere else. This this is the place for me. My beautiful little dolly here. I got three kids. Beautiful little wife who's camera shy as can be. She won't come on the camera. I don't know why. But uh, this little one's not camera shy, right? No. No, of course not. She <laughs> likes it. So we're on here, and this this is for Dave Ingram. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get get back to you, but basically it said maybe it says Rick, maybe you covered this, but I'd like to know what brought you to Philippines, where you live, uh, there, and what you likes and dislikes. Uh, maybe a little bunch of background and where in the U.S. you're from. Yeah, I'm living there for the long haul. I have several friends from the military days uh, that live there, and they say they're never coming back except to visit. And that's basically me. I, I have no plans on going back. Uh, I've been here for seven years now. Uh, she's going to be seven years old in August. Uh, basically got here, and, and within uh, nine months, she was born. <laughs> Go figure. What a clock, huh? And then we've had a baby every two years since, until we got to three. And uh, they're fantastic babies. They're a little uh, half, they're flams. You're a flam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a flam. No. Yeah, a flam. No. A Filipino American. Yes. Yeah, so you're a flam. No. <laughs> okay, I guess she's not a flam. But that's my little beautiful dolly. She's my first baby to the Philippines. Uh, what did you do? How were you? How did you get here? What happened? How did you? I how do you? How did you get here? What happened? Can you tell us? Can you tell us the story? You don't have to be shy. You don't know the story. Oh my goodness! I told her the story of how she got here many times, but she, she, now she can't remember. Do you have a brain fart or something? No. No, you can't remember how they come. How'd you get here? Brain cramp. You got a tumor? No. No? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. That's that's for Dave Ingram. Sorry it took so long, buddy. And uh, thanks for subscribing, all you guys. And uh, this is Rick Shaw. Say out. Out. Rick Shaw out. <laughs>